In South India, Palur is one of thousands of small way stations which haven't changed much since British colonial times. It is a single line track off the main route to Madras and only four trains a day stop here. Mr. Govinda Rajan is the station master. He took a demotion from a bigger station, choosing Palur to be near his sick wife and to live out his days in the peaceful quiet of the country. He shares his responsibilities with Kamakshi, a railway widow, who is officially the sweeper porter. Between the two of them, they run the entire station. Palur means milk village, and for the last hundred years, the villagers have relied on the milk train to carry their cans to the city markets. But before the train arrives, Govinda Rajan must coordinate with other stations to make sure that his line is clear for the coming train. It is a time-honored system in place since the days of the British. A ball token must be carried by the driver giving him the right of way on a single line track. At every station, he must pass the token and pick up another. Only then will he have permission to continue on his way. Now, I am asking line clear. This is the authority. Token C-17. The line is officially open and Kamakshi can change the signals that will indicate to the driver that the track ahead is safe. She will pass the ball on to the driver and prepares the cane pouch. She is one of the few women working directly with the trains, but gained her job after a great loss. Her husband had been a fireman on a steam engine and committed suicide when he didn't make driver. It is the railway's custom to give a position to the widow and Kamakshi will have a job for life. As the train comes in, the ball token is handed over. Now the driver can move safely into the next section. Mr. Govindarajan has dedicated 33 years of his life to the railway and understands better than anyone how much these trains mean to rural India. But changes are coming, and he has received word that with his retirement, his post will not be filled, and Palur Station will be closed. They tell him that with only a few trains a day, there just isn't enough profit. Soon, the trains won't be stopping here, and people will have to take the roads. He will be the last station master of Palur.
On Southern Railway, south of Madras, the Pondicherry Special makes her last journey. Nothing evokes the romance of the railway like a steam engine. Her arrival into Pondicherry Station is a grand event, and she will bring the platform to life for one last time. This is one of the few holdouts of steam. The locomotives were phased out of the big cities years ago, and now even small stations are seeing them vanish. But perhaps the greatest loss will be felt by those who have steam in their soul. And Don Dupani is one who feel it the most. A third generation railway man, he became what his father, a gatekeeper, always hoped he would be, a driver the pride of the line. Now he's been given the honor of taking the Pondicherry special on her final run. His engine may be old and worn down by age, but Don Dupani knows that what he is doing is something noble and historic. And he's always been proud of his duty. In India, the relationship between railway men has always been like family. The firemen, guards, cabin masters, and gatekeepers all have developed a deep bond through the years. Station masters on the single line tracks and the drivers of steam know that a time is coming to an end. Now the trading of the cane pouch marks the changing of the guard. Both Govindarajan and Don Dupani have since been retired. The Pondicherry special has been condemned. And Little Palur Station is now closed forever. <laughs>